Welcome to the Edexcel Further Maths and Mechanics 1 videos. This is the section on elastic springs and strings. This is video 1.4, Problems Using the Work Energy Principle. So, so far we've been looking um, in cases where we haven't had non-conservative forces doing work. Now we're going to look at examples where they are doing work. For example, friction, and that needs to be taken into account. So the work done by those non-conservative forces is equal to the change in the energy. We need to take into account on the left hand side the work done by forces such as the friction or a driving force and on the right hand side we need to look at the change in the total energy. That's gravitational potential energy, kinetic energy and elastic potential energy. So we're going to have a look at an example now. We've got an object here of mass 0.5 kilograms attached to one end of a light string with natural length 0.4 meters, modulus of elasticity 180 newtons. And the other end is attached to this fixed point O. It's on a rough, rough horizontal table. So this is different to our previous example. This one's got a rough table, so we're going to need to take friction into account. Mu is 0.3. And it's pulled away from O to a distance of 50 centimetres. So it's extended by 0 0.1 metres. We're then going to release the object from rest and calculate the speed when it becomes slack. So we're now, now we're going to add this information to the diagram. We have our weight acting downwards, 0 0.5 G, the normal reaction force. And the object is going to be traveling in this direction, so we're going to have friction. So, using the work energy principle, we know that the work done against friction is equal to the change in energy. Now our object is moving, so friction is at its maximum a constant rate of mu r. And our initial kinetic energy is zero, and initially we have some elastic potential energy. So our change in energy is a change from elastic potential energy to kinetic energy. So when we rearrange our formula, we're going to have elastic potential energy minus the work done against friction. is going to equal our kinetic energy. So our elastic potential energy, lambda x squared over 2L, remember? So that's lambda times the extension squared over 2 times the natural length of the string. So we've got 180 times 0 0.1 squared over 2 times 0 0.4 minus the work done against friction, so that is mu is 0 0.3 times r, which is 0 0.5g, times the distance, which is 0 0.1, and that's going to give us our kinetic energy. Now the kinetic energy, when we do this calculation, we know that kinetic energy is a half mv squared. So a half mv squared is 1.515. So when we rearrange this, we get that v is 2.9 meters per second. Now, if you remember when we did this example on the previous video, where we had a smooth surface, that speed was 3 meters per second. So obviously, we're going slightly slower because we've lost some of our energy to the work done against friction. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at another example. Here we've got our particle of mass 0 0.8 kilograms on an end of a light elastic string, natural length 0 0.5 and modulus of elasticity 40. The other length of the end of the string here is attached to a point A on a rough plane inclined at 30 degrees. So we're going to hold the object at A and then release it and it's going to come to rest here at B which is a distance of 0 0.7 meters from A. So we're going to try and find the coefficient of friction 
between P and the plane. So, again, we draw our diagram, drawn our forces. We have 0.8 G acting downwards, our reaction force, and friction. Now, the uh, natural length of the string is 0 0.5, and we can see that it is extending to a length of 0 0.7. So, X, in this case, is 0 0.2 meters. Energy principle and the work done against friction is going to be the change in energy. So initially we're going to have some gravitational potential energy and we are going to lose some of that to some elastic potential energy. That's how the energy is going to change. We don't need to worry about kinetic energy because we start at rest and we finish at rest. So if we work out each of these, the work done against friction is mu r times the distance. So that is mu times 0 0.8 g cos 30, which is r, times by 0 0.7, which is the distance travelled. And that's going to be equal to, I'm going to write this on the next line, the gravitational potential energy that we have initially is 0 0.8 g times 0 0.7 sine 30. That's the vertical component of this distance here. And that is, then we're going to subtract from that the elastic potential energy which is lambda x squared over 2L. So we've got 40 times 0 0.2 squared all over 2 times 0 0.5. Remember, that's the extension in the string. So when we rearrange these, we get that the work done against friction is 7 root 3 25G mu. And that is equal to 7 over 25G minus 1.6. Rearrange those and we end up finding that mu is 0 0.241 to three significant figures. Okay, that was the last video in the elastic springs and strings section.